Yes, indeed. Welcome back. And before we went on a break, I'll say today we are discussing matters vlogging. So if you have a phone, a smartphone, me, especially a smartphone or a camera, you can upload a video. You can take a video, upload it on YouTube. And if you're lucky enough, <laughs> you may earn a living out of that. Well, in today in studio, you have two amazing guests. Mm? One of them is called Kennedy Odiambo, also known as Crazy Kenna and Ken Relbis, who will be discussing with us matters vlogging. <laughs> but before we begin, I want to thank you so much for making time to join me here on YouTube. Oh, so I'm, I'm even <laughs> thinking this is YouTube. Come on. Okay, we'll upload yeah. this on YouTube just to make it relevant. <laughs> yes, I want to start with, we'll start with you, Ken Relbis. Yeah. Well, now I want to start with you. Nah. What is YouTube in Kiswahili? YouTube in Kiswahili, you are kuna majina mengine sisi kwa mungu nikidangani niki sema kijina lingine kwa mna fikisio YouTube ni YouTube duko Kiswahili bado ya tozo ya fanya chochote so kwa sasa tu sema YouTube wahenga bado ya kujia pamoja lagi ni kama sisi mbi ya karne shirina sabi kitoke la bago tukwana vitu kama hivi ni sawa ni sawa and it's crazy Kenya thank you so much for making time to join us today. And Crazy Kenna, tell us, when did you begin this YouTube journey? And what made you begin this YouTube? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I began a YouTube channel in the year 22 years back, 2017. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after finding that uh, I had a talent, but I could not uh, spot uh, a platform that I could uh, upload mm -hmm. my talent in. So somebody told me about uh, YouTube. I could create a YouTube channel and from it I could create uh, a content, then upload it uh, from there. So I decided to get directly into YouTube. And what kind of, what kind of content, sorry, what kind of content do you generate? Do you, does, how do I put it? What kind, what kind of content generates a lot of traffic to your channel? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, I am a viner. Uh, I do funny videos. Vine. Uh, vines. Yeah. Yes. I do vines and I upload them on uh, YouTube. So comedy, comical content mm -hmm. it generates a lot of traffic on YouTube. It just depends on uh, how you present your content. For those who don't know, what is Vine? A vine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can give a Vine a short description. Mm -hmm. A Vine is a, a funny video. First of all, it must be funny. Mm -hmm. It has a storyline, and. Uh, that's a joke in it. Yeah. So it's comedy. Yeah, Basically, your comedy. content is comedy. Yeah, yeah somehow comedy. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. And you, Rebis, what yeah. kind of content do you have? I want to meet Mr. Borodani for charge. So, I want to meet Mr. Borodani for charge. So, I want to meet Mr. Borodani for charge. So, I want to meet Mr. Borodani for charge. So, I want to meet Mr. Borodani for charge. So, I want to meet Mr. Borodani for charge. So, I want to meet Mr. Borodani for charge. So, I want so, so content yako entertainment. ni entertainment. Nam. That's purely con ni entertainment. Nam. And at what point did you begin earning something? Ama bado mjaza kuani. Sasa unajua YouTube ina 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 mtaratara fulani ambao unafuatiliwa. Mm -hmm. Sasa tuseme kwa sasa YouTube mwaka 2018 ukikuwa pale katikati, YouTube ilikuwa na Na, na, na strategies fulani ilikuwa na rules fulani kuna jukana kama youtube community guidelines eh? na wakawaja na rule kwamba kitambo ilikuwa ndo youtube upate kuna kitu jukana kama adsense adsense ni ni, ni platform ambayo inapeana advertisements so kitambo ilikuwa ilikuwa na, na 10000 views ni utapata advertisements lakini wakawaja wakabadilisha so ina four upate 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours watch time ukifikisha hivyo ndo saa uta submit for mkitu ni ito monetization. Mm -hmm. Monetization, Google waki approve, Google AdSense waki approve, no sasa unanza kupewa advertisements. So advertisements ki run. So, wakiwa na videos ambazo zina, zina viewers wengi na pia ni zina watch, zika watch time iko juu, unapata kupata pesa. Mm -hmm. Na pia bado uta watch time ikuwa kidogo, utapata pesa kidogo. So inategemea sasa ni bidi yako, wisha pata advertisements. So mm -hmm. ina bidi uwe mtu ambayo unabidi ya kufanya uh, content ambayo ni, ni itavutia watu wanzi kutazama na watazami pia kwa mda mrefu siwe boring ndio upate hela ambazo ni kibao. Sawa sawa. Naam. Crazy Kenna. Yeah. And uh, do they pay in time on time? Mm -hmm. Before ni jibwe swali. Yeah. Uh, there are two ways. Kwa kwanza nimesema YouTube will pay you. Right? No, YouTube will pay yeah. Uh, definitely. The second way YouTube can uh, will pay you is that uh, when you have a large number of viewers and mm -hmm. subscribers. Now, people uh, yeah. will pay you when you upload their content. For example, Uneza Pewa market uh, 
a start a particular product sasa nakwambia juko na a strong youtube channel chukua hiyo product yetu mtakuwa naiongelea kwa hiyo youtube channel yako so hapo you be paid twice so youtube itakupatia itakulipa kwa sababu ya number of views then that particular company itakulipa kwa sababu umefanya content uh, na they pay on time they pay on time okay do you have any other hustle apart from youtube uh, personally i'm a content creator uh, on uh, social media platform i create content for tales of the crazy kenna and i'm also a producer mm -hmm. so side hustle sasa sibi ni sema kama hizo ndio side hustle kama gani ndio meta hustle na gani ndio side na zote kwangu mimi naona tu zote ni hustle si sema hii ni side hustle mm -hmm. zote natumia same amount of time and uh, energy so mimi na create content uh, apart from there apart from that mm -hmm. i am also on instagram No. So because Instagram and the YouTube they are somehow related. So like creating content for Instagram then connecting it with YouTube. Another thing we nafanya ni shows. You know, for example I'm called upon mshafanya video, they need me on a particular show to host uh, that show. So you know ngili nakuwa another side hustle. Now which which is more lucrative? Uh, Instagram or YouTube? abu break you look at it like this okay sorry which facebook which is more interesting uh, and which which one do you get more followers and uh, or views mm. between instagram and youtube acha for me i will say that uh, my instagram page is more flooded and check instagram page yangu ko flooded in a way that unajua uh, inakunga brief and to the point and check mm. so Mm, I can say that uh, Instagram somehow pays but uh, YouTube definitely will pay a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and and, uh, and, 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 and you ni gani kati hizo mbili ziko more lucrative acha ni tumie your point lucrative. Uh, uh, unajua mm. Instagram inalea YouTube na YouTube inalea Instagram. Mm -hmm. Kivipi? Mm -hmm. Wakati umefanya yeah. video umeika YouTube kama ni video dakika 10, mm -hmm. Instagram inakupa nafasi kwa video dakika moja. Mm -hmm. So wakati umeika ile video dakika moja, utaambia mtu maybe angalie link kwa bio yako. So utapata Instagram itatumika kupromote YouTube. So utapata zile views ambazo unazipata Instagram zitakuwa nyingi na bado zitapeleka watu waende wane video nzima YouTube. Mm -hmm. So utapata unapata biashara mbili. Kuna biashara ya kuweka kale katika kidogo pale katika mtandao wa Instagram, vile vile kuna ile ambazo unazipata katika kuweka mtandao wa YouTube. Mm. Ndani zote sawa tu. Naam. Naam. Na una okay, siwezi ongea Kiswahili kama wewe lakini let me let me stick to what I'm comfortable with. Naam. So oh, social media is is a platform where we just learn as you go it's a learning process hakuna shule utaenda you learn how to use facebook or how to use youtube it's just a learning process so ki chukua smartphone hivi ununue smartphone you get to learn how to use the internet is social media uh, something you are sitting on a gold mine eh? a digital space is the digital space a gold mine where us youths are sitting on instead of utilizing it we are just sitting on ndio ukiangalia kila mtu sema tuko na youths kama tuseme kwa mfano tuwe mfano mm. kama milioni moja eh mm. ukiangalia utapata kama 1800 ambao wana Facebook mm. wana YouTube hizo apps na vile vile wana WhatsApp na vitu kama vile lakini utapata muda mwingi anatumia pale maybe ku chat vitu vya kijinga vitu ambavyo vitawasaidia lakini mwisho siku kuna kitu ambacho unaweza kiweza kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kuzungumza Kiswahili vizuri sema kama ninavyozungumza anaweza kaamua kufunza watu ambao waelewe Kiswahili vizuri kupitia mtandao wa kijamii na mwisho wa siku utapata watu ambao wanamfuatilia na mwisho wa siku kuna makampuni kama ambayo yanauza vitabu vya Kiswahili vitamtumie kuviuza umepata yeah. kuna mtu anaelewa sayansi vizuri anaweza kufunzana pale kwa hiyo unajua kusonga vizuri anaweza kufunzana pale so nadhani wanarika sasa hivi inabidi wasenze kulia ti ah mna kazi nini kazi zipo ni wewe utengeneze kazi mwenyewe wa Mungu yeah hii ndio nafasi ninayo lakini mtu anaweza nikakifanya unahitaji tu simu yako kwa sababu watu wana ma smartphone kibao siku hizi mm. so mbona ushindwe chukua simu piga selfie fanya vitu ama chukua mtu ambaye anakuzungumzia unamwambia mtu wewe ni record mimi nafanya kitu fulani mwisho siku unaweka pale kwa kitu kizuri watu watashare na wakishia mwisho wa siku pia unazidi kupa unazidi kuongezeka naam naam na. you kennedy what's your take on that uh, you know um, most of the people are forgetting that uh, like roughly let me estimate five years from now internet itakuwa ime take over unicheck mm. sasa unajua kama internet itakuwa ime take over around let's say 80% ya population wote watakuwa wanatumia simu zao na wote watakuwa na scroll through the internet my point is that 
in the near future the internet litakuwa the gold mine pale kila mse atakuwa na ana vlog sasa unajua wase wengi wana vlog hapo uh, net na unajua a lot of companies tafika point that uh, they will want to market in a platform where there are a lot of people na there are a lot of people watapata in this social media platform so it's uh, advisable you start early if somebody has a passion hapo start early mm -hmm. yeah uh, and you've mentioned that you usually work sometimes with corporates yeah. do these corporates take you seriously and do they pay you on time among other challenges you can mention unajua when you start first ukiendea corporate unaambia ah i can market for you this thing na atakuja kuambia ah si wewe ni mtu tu wa kuchekesha chekesha tu watu wale pale whatsapp na instagram so as time goes by ndio anakuja anaona you command a certain crowd unaona na they need audience so inafika hapo unakuja na wanaku approach mostly they do approach and say i want to work with you to advertise something ama other things sana anakuja akuja hapo unaandikia proposal then you agree on a certain pay payment because you cannot work without being paid so we take this serious kerel bis what are the other challenges you face challenges ambayo inakuja ya kwanza sometimes unaweza kuwa maybe spend kama kwa mfano unajua sisi tunafanya burudani mimi kuna tamasha imetokea same flani kwa maana ndio uka spend unajua una watu wako ambao wana camera watu ambao maybe wanakushikia lights vitu kama vile napata mnaenda kule unafanya story alafu mwisho wa siku ukiweka pale youtube watu waichukulie jinsi ulivyotarajia unapata views kidogo sana ni ile challenge number 1 inaweza nasema na kitu kama hicho <laughs> and how do you keep up with trends you know things are changing every day kuna tu kitu mpya imetokea kuna kitu mpya so how do you keep up with these trends unajua kama kwa mfano unajua mimi naishi katika mitandao ya kijamii mitandao ya kijamii ni mimi na mimi pia ni mitandao ya kijamii kivipi vitu ambavyo unavifanya naweka kwa mitandao ya kijamii lakini bado unavitoka katika mitandao ya kijamii so ukiangalia wewe mimi nafanya burudani na kufuatilia wewe mtu ambaye uko katika mimi kwa chukua runinga kuna watu wana kufuatilia wanataka kujua kitu fulani umekifanya so mimi naweza kufuatilia facebook ama twitter ama instagram naona umeka kitu fulani na najua watu wamekipenda na kuna lakini kuna watu ambao ijawafikia so mimi niko pale kuhakikisha kwamba inawafikia habari kwa njia ambayo wanielewa kizaidi so mimi nadhani kupata content si vigumu sababu ipo tu pale katika mtandao wa kijamii naam ni wewe ukuwe tu creative ujue utakavyoiweka sasa uiweke sasa kikawaida ifanye iwe tamu zaidi ndio mtu aisikize ushanielewa naam 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 and crazy kena Mm. How do you keep up with the changing trends? Keeping up with the trends. Mm. You know, comedy is to approach uh, in a different angle. Mm. In that, as a comedian, we when you have a certain trend, you know, means you have control. Sometimes you are the one who control what's, tre what's trending. Like when you have a create video, alafu ni expect like ah, ye ita ita onekan sa na like ni after some uh, few hours, no na you video you make trend is and in a trend. Then you means you make trend is a trend. That's one way. Other way unatafuta like something in a trend sana kitu gani imeongelewa sana then unakuja una chip in na joke yako chip in sasa unaongeza flavor ya hiyo trend kama kawaida na yeah. no, finally as we wrap up the show any last comment to you instead of going on social media and bashing everyone and bashing and hating you can actually use social media to create content and earn something from it any last word any last comment Mm. Yes, to our youths, because you know this is a youth channel. Okay, advice is that part of my youths. Me, on social media, people are uh, some people are playing, but uh, what we do is not chasing a case. Yani ni kama mepe office, like in what we get on a chasing a chasing office, as in gine na we gine anafanya case. So an advice that I can give uh, to them, they should know that uh, the future is internet. Eh? So everything, yani mtu ana post ama kituata imsa na relate na upale ana fa kujua. Ni, ni internet ndio ndio future yenye na come so i come up na something si lazima ikuwe comedy si lazima ikuwe burudani ila nasema but you can do something kuna wengine wanaweza dance tukwe tunafuatilia trend yako kuna wengine wanaweza imba kuna wengine wanaweza kuonyesha kufanya different style so anze tu mapema a create na nothing is impossible yes nothing is impossible your last word na unajua kitu kimoja huwa na na believe in too easy maneno mawili ambayo yanajaa kumi if it is to be it is up to me kwa nini Unajua muda mwingine watu wanasema kwamba nimesomea maybe biashara, nimesomea maybe udaktari, nimesomea vitu fulani na fulani. Nasema mwisho wa siku umezunguka ofisi gunjia nguo kule, sio? Unasema kwamba sipati kazi. Kazi unaweza kuitengeneza na ukapata pesa ambayo labda mtu ambaye ameajiriwa utamshinda taela. Mbona usiwe mtu ambaye unafunza watu wengine tu? Tumia kipaji chako ama somo ambalo umelipata kutoka shuleni kufunza pia watu wengine. Na mwisho wa siku utakuwa mtu ambaye anaheshimika, mtu utakuwa mtu ambaye unahamasisha jamii 
na mtu ambaye pia utakuwa na manufaa katika jamii na mwisho wa siku utakuwa unajijenga na pia unawajenga wengine so wewe ndio una uwezo wa kufanya kile kitu ambacho kinafaa kifanyike katika hii dunia hmm. na pesa pia zipo kibao sana katika mtandao wa kijamii wanasema pesa zinapita hapa hewani naam sipokuwa katika ile pesa mbona tumia kununua data ndio vile vile unaweza ukairudisha ukanunua data nyingine na kutengeneza pesa nyingine zaidi so unasema kitu kimoja tu makinika ka live na maisha <laughs> na no, thank you gentlemen thank you so much for coming well youtube and um, also social media is a gold mine let's not sit on it let's utilize it to the fullest instead of buying bundles to bash people let us buy bundles and post youtubes and post video on youtubes also on instagram and you never know things can work out for you well that's all we had here that's all we had here on on y254 channel my name is miriam masawa well good night and god bless you Till next time. Bye-bye.